it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I am working on a couple sets of wands today, and this is for a swap that I'm in. I need to create a total of five wands, um, two for each swapping partner and one for the host. So again, I'm doing a wand in, um, or actually two wands in the Hey Pumpkin collection and two wands in the Frank Garcia collection. And I'm using my little witch skirts for, oh, this lady's skirt's coming off. She's getting naked. Um, I have to tack that down. So I have um, the little witch legs on the wands. Give me one second here. One on the back, two. There we go. Okay, so I am not that great on, at wands. Um, kind of intimidating and I a good and bad thing. So one of the things that uh, the swap host is doing, she's Anna from Anna's Wonderland. She is doing some video shares as she gets projects in. So I had uh, my first set of wands done. This is my second set. And I saw the ones that were being submitted and holy, like blow me away. They were unbelievable. So <laughs> I went back to my first set and I kind of tore them all apart and, and kind of changed my direction and started over. Um, I don't know. I, I'm still learning and, um, I know like the chunkier, the better, but I feel like I need bigger dies. I just had to cut like some circles out to place these on the back. And I seriously was becoming really stressed about it, but I, I think that I'm comfortable where I'm at. I love how these turned out. I, I think the uh, witch legs are adorable. I added little spiders here. I had some handmade rosettes back here. This is a die. This spider web was from a uh, garland that I deconstructed. And then I just gathered some tool in the back uh, to create a layer there. And I just cut out a circle and did a zigzag st stitch around it. And I'm just going to glue that to the back for stability. And then I think where I'm going to hopefully shine or make these like become my own is by the uh, ribbon and trims that I picked out to go around the wand. So that is my goal for today. So I'm gonna glue these backs on this set. So that is gonna look like that, and I feel like it's crooked. Let me pull it over just a little bit. I think it just gives it a little bit something. It grounds the back. Um, Okay, so that is what this one is going to look like. I'm going to set it down flat so hopefully the, the hot glue dries flat on the back there. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I just took paper from the collection and like I said, I just traced a circle. But I think um, I'm going to have to invest in some bigger dies. I mean, I only have a whatever the six inch width is so I can't get too big. But I definitely, I think these are only four inch well, they're five inch, but I mean, another inch I think would make more of an impact, but I mean, I'm, I'm not going to stress about it. Okay. So that's what these two look like. So these two are done as far as the layering goes. And then I'm going to add the trim. Then I have these two. These two are the ones that I created using um, Ventiquities. Um, skeleton clown tutorial. And I absolutely love that part of it. But I started like tucking things in, coming out the sides and everything, and I just really did not like how that looked. So I went for the thickness on this, and I just decided to let these uh, skulls be the kind of center of the show for these two. So they're like this. This is how thick they are. And um, I'm actually, these are done. So what, if I could, if I was daring, I would take this piece all the way off and center it. So I off centered it so I could do some more things over here, but then I didn't end up liking what I did over here. So now it's just kind of off centered, but I still think it looks really cute. Um, and these are done. And like I said, um, I'm just going to add the trim then tonight. Um, and then these will be done. I did not make my host wand yet. That is the last thing that I have to do. So, um, let me show you guys what I'm using for trim tonight. So I did get a bunch of this lace in B, um, from bbcraft.com and I did an unboxing where I showed you. It was 20 different colors. Um, so I picked out some colors that matched both the Frank Garcia collection and the Hey Pumpkin collection. So 
I used pink, black, orange, and gray. And just the, the awesome part of having all of these colors on hand is you're gonna have something that matches every collection that you do. So when you're looking for different textures in your trims, um, having that lace is kind of a light and airy texture. So then I cut several of those out, out here. And then I wanted um, some other textures. So I have some solids here. So I have this orange. I think this is from Joann's. Um, I've got this kind of um, crocheted or knit lace uh, that's black with the, the silver trim. I've got some gingham there. I've got some like almost like a cording that's gold. I've got some just silver and gold thread here. Um, you know, a little eyelash piece. I've got this that matches the Hey Pumpkin collection. Um, just some glittered orange, some striped, and then some pinks. So I think I have enough to do five wands, five wands with this amount of ribbon, but let's just take it one at a time. And um, I think I'll start with this, um, this one here. So let me just start pulling some out. And the main colors in here are gonna be pink, orange, and black. Um, that. Uh, I do wanna get some gold in there because that is a gold accent. So I have this like kind of Christmas cord here that's gold and white. So I'll take that out. I need a orange, like a big statement orange piece. So I'm gonna use that. Um, I think. Let's see what else. Oh, this gray. I think I wanted to pull the gray lace in and the orange lace as well. Um, how many black laces did I cut here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I've got those. I think I need another black. Um, how does that look? Okay, I think that's gonna be it for the first one. And I can cut more trim if I need it, but I just wanted to kind of get prepped with what I had there. All right, so let me just start kind of layering these together. So I made the mistake of gluing this spider down, but he does have a hole through there. So I think I might take advantage of that hole and thread the ribbon through it. Okay, so I have all of the ribbons threaded through there and I decided to take this one out because it was too bold for what I have going on here. I think I can use it in this one though because I have a lot of the orange going on with that skirt. So I took it out and then just added another piece of uh, pink ribbon to kind of tie the pink in. So um, I really like how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and I think just tie it here in the back and then I think I'll trim off the edges. I'm just going to do a tighten bow back here. I think I'll try and tighten each one individually. Kind of just pull on each one. Okay, so that is what this one looks like. I think that's so fun. Um, let me decide how long I want it. So this is kind of how long it is now. Um, do you go to the bottom? Let me start by going to the bottom of the straw and see if that's how that looks. I think I do want them to be fairly long. kind of a little scattered too. I don't want them exactly all the same length. Okay, so that is what this side looks like. 
So I really like that. Let me finish this side up and then we'll see how it looks completed. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. I'm really happy with that, how that turned out. Um, yeah, I would call this one done and I'm gonna work on the rest and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. Okay, finally done. So this is how this one turned out. Um, I love all the different textures in here. I think it looks super cute. I ended up doing a little bow on here. This fabric is a really thin, um, I wanna say like a chiffon type um, ribbon or fabric. I got this from BB Craft a couple hauls ago. Um, I'll link this down below too. I got this in this color in pink and I definitely wanna pick up more. Um, I love how it's got like the frayed edges there. I just think it adds a uh, texture to it. Okay, so that is how this one is finished. This one, I kept the, the tails a little bit shorter. Um, and then I added this bow in the front, but I'm not sure if the black bow is the right call. Um, I might try a different color bow, but this is just a alligator clip bow from Dollar Tree and I had just uh, clipped it on there, but I might try, um, I've got a bunch of little scraps over here. I don't know if I, I like the orange. I don't know, I'm just, I'll leave this one in there for now and then um, I'll think about it. But I do like, um, like I said, it's just a little alligator clip. It slides right in there. Um, I do like how it kind of finishes off the, the bow or the front of it. I, I think I'll leave it. It just kind of blends in because she's got the black feet and the black bow is down here and this is black. So it just doesn't pop out, but I think it, gives it a final or a, a finishing touch. Okay, so then I have this one. I did the same thing with the alligator clip bow on this one. I cut these tails a little bit shorter. So that is the Frank Garcia one. And then this is the, oh, I got things sticking to it. Then this is the longer tail one with the Frank Garcia collection. And this one has the spider that I wove the fabric through there or the ribbon through there. So I think those are done. Again, not my uh, favorite thing to make. Still a little intimidated by them, but um, hopefully they'll get easier the more that I do. Um, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in any of the lace or uh, ribbons from BB Craft that I showed, I will link them down below and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.